Connor Hellebuck, please. Uh, Connor, wh where do you see your group in terms of its uh, development path and what's the biggest priority for the offseason? No, I thought we made some good strides at the end of this year. Um, we really turned our, our game into a, a full team game and a full uh, defensive zone, neutral zone offensive game. And, um, you know, you got to ask Chevy about the pieces coming in because um, every year changes, guys coming in and out. And um, I'm looking forward to the team we put on the ice next year. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. I'll direct this one to Kyle. Uh, boy, an unprecedented year in so many ways, Kyle. How are you think over time, how are you going to look back on this season? Yeah, it's, you know, this is definitely going to be an anomaly. We can look back. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we get back to, you know, fans in the building next year and, you know, be, be a little different protocols, but it's, it's definitely going to be one we look back and, you know, probably remember for a long time. It's, you know, just the, some of the stuff that we've gone through, travel, hotels, you know, the amount of quarantines that everybody's been through in this locker room. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy to look back on that, that type of year. And, you know, it's, it's just like everybody in their, their life right now, you know, that, that year look back on it's, you know, it's, it's been a difficult time. It's, you know, it, it can be tough at times, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll remember the memories with, with my teammates and, you know, you know, how we bonded and came together and, um, you know, you're, you're on the road for, for that many days. You can't go anywhere and you're in the hotel. It's, you know, you're, you're coming together with a group of guys that you've got and you're hanging out with them. So that's, that's probably what I'll remember most. We'll go next to Jason Bell from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, this is to uh, to Connor, the Connor, the goaltender. Um, Connor, every goaltender is the, the last sort of the last line of defense, and that comes with the job. And I appreciate that. And it's a it's a there's a responsibility there that all goaltenders have. But with this club, there's did you feel at times that they're, they're even a heavier burden because of you know you're looking at a situation where a lot of nights it was 35 shots guaranteed you were going to face. No, I, I didn't really look at that as a heavy burden. Um, I like to go into every game thinking I could be the difference maker. Um, just gives me a nice edge. Um, we have a good team, and I know we can score goals. So um, I have a lot of fun playing behind these guys, and I go in every game trying to be a difference maker so I can, I don't know, get, get a slight edge and energy boost, uh, anything little over the opponent. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, this one uh, for Kyle. Um, Kyle, you guys have talked all year about lessons that get learned along the way as, as a core kind of coming up together. Um, what lessons do you think you'll be able to take out of this unique season that, that you could maybe use to your advantage next season? Yeah, just trying to think back on the whole year. Um, you know, the way the way we played coming out, I mean, it's probably more recent on memory, so I'll draw to this. You know, that seven-game losing streak that we had. And, you know, even, even personally, just kind of how we came out of that and learned from our game. And, um, you know, Helly touched on a little bit earlier. I thought we came out of it just a more well-rounded team. And, you know, we were, we were just playing the right way. We knew what it took. And, you know, when you go through a type of stretch like that, I don't know if I've ever been a part of that in my career. It's, you know, seven straight, it's, it's tough. And, um, you know, you, you learn to enjoy the wins more too. It's, it's kind of simple and, you know, dumb to say, but it's, you know, it's so much more exciting. You, you know, we just found that every, every little play is, it's almost like the playoffs. Someone blocked a shot, you know, we got great energy on the bench. It's coming up. So I think we just kind of use that and we learned that and um, implemented that into our game and, you know, a little more sense of camaraderie as, as a team and on the bench. And, you know, I think that definitely helped us in that first series. We'll go next to Murata Tesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murata. Thanks, Gregor. This one is also for Kyle. I wanted to pick up on the camaraderie uh, angle because there, there's a lot of appreciation, I think, in your tone. When you guys go through something that is as unique as this season, I mean, every season is unique for you guys, but is there a sense that maybe when you look back on it, this will be something that brought you as individuals closer together than, than past years or any other experience could be. Yeah, for sure. It's like I talked about a little earlier. It's, you know, there's, we spent a lot of time together as a group and, um, 
you know, you, you go through a lot of things throughout the season, but um, as a group, you can always lean on each other. We got a great core. It's, you know, the guys that have been here for, for a couple of years now, it's, you know, you get more familiar with each other. You know, you hang out with each other every, every single day and outside the rink. And, you know, when, when you go to battle for each other every night too, you know, it matters. The guy next to you, he box a shot. He, makes a good play, you know, you, you're going to let him hear it. And it's, you know, it comes a long way when it's someone from the team in it as well. We'll go next to Sean Reynolds from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, this one's for Connor Hellebuck. Connor, um, every player wants to win the cup. Uh, Blake's like this. You're clearly one of these guys like this. You're not afraid to shy away from saying, I mean, that's your ultimate goal. That's what you're in it for. You're all in on that regard. Uh, and I know just like Kyle had said, you guys have a strong belief in your core. Uh, Blake was saying it's just a matter of, you know, arranging the pieces around that core to give you guys the best chance. You're all in on trying to win the Stanley Cup. Does does the team, does the management need to be have that all in attitude? Maybe be more aggressive. I know they have to balance, you know, future and draft picks and all that kind of stuff. But do you think this organization needs to be in an all win and win right now attitude? I think every single organ organization out there should be like that. Um, I mean, every year you don't want to waste a year just going guessing. You, you want to you want to win, and um, I think having the conversations I've had now, I think they do want to win, and they want to win now, and they're they're looking for the right pieces. And I mean, my mindset is now, and next year I'm going to say the same thing. And you also don't want to blow it for future years, so you want to be smart about it. But um, I think our organization definitely wants it now, and they're going to do what they have to do. We'll go next to Jason Bell from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. Questions for Kyle. Uh, Kyle, you know, you've talked about the core. Blake talked about the strength of the core uh, of this group. Um, these are always tough days because you're, you're looking around the room and you're going to see guys for the last time. And that that's unique in your profession. We, you know, a lot of jobs don't have that where every year there's, it's almost like layoffs every year, but uh, what's a day like this like? And, 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 do you think that uh, this core should stay together for, for the, for the future? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this day comes every year. It's, you know, unfortunately a little bit too soon. It's, you know, it's, it's so quick turnaround. It's, um, you know, we just lost a couple of days ago, so there's still a lot of emotions and um, going through that in the locker room, but, you know, you, you look at it, um, yeah, like like you said, it's it's almost like we've gone numb to it, you know, losing guys every year and, you know, you kind of turn over. It's, you know, you get so close to them and certain guys and, you know, it sucks to see them leave. But, um, you know, it's it's part of the job. And I think kind of touching on our, our core, it's, yeah, I, I believe in this group. I That's why I signed long term here. You know, we got one of the best goaltenders in the world. We got, you know, arguably one of the best leaders, players um, with Mark and Blake and, you know, it's it's just a matter of coming together. And, um, you know, I'm sure you've heard that, but it's it's so true. I think we got a great group here and, you know, we can win. Everybody wants to win, too. That's that's the best part about it. Every, everybody is, you know, they're, they're so motivated. And, um, you know, we come to the rink every day and I think that feeds off everybody. Um, you know, we want to get better. Just a couple more. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. This one's for Connor uh, Hellebuck. Um, Connor Kyle touched on a little bit some of the highs and lows of the losing streak and obviously the the first round sweep of Edmonton. Do you have any thoughts on just why we maybe saw more highs and lows kind of peaks and valleys this year? Is that a product of the unique aspects of a season such as this pandemic, no fans playing the same teams all the time? I think playing the same teams is, was a big part of it because I mean, you go on a stretch against a team that, one of the playoff teams, they're obviously there for a reason. They're better and one of the better ones in the division. And there's a chance that they could run a streak. I mean, we ran a couple streaks on some teams too. So um, not having fans definitely stunk. Um, there's always that momentum, that home ice advantage. But I, I think more of seeing the same teams over and over and over again and then run into them at the same time for a couple and, and energy levels come to play out and teams know each other so well and they 
they might get a slight advantage and it works for three games and then you're on a three game losing streak. But I don't, I don't see that coming in the future. I don't think we're going to play that same type of uh, role on game, but I thought we handled it pretty well. I mean, we made playoffs and we made the second round. So a lot of good this year. Final question to Sean Reynolds from sports night. Go ahead, Sean. This one's for Connor Hellebuck again, Connor, what do you point to uh, that gives you that belief that this team is going in the right direction when um, it, it feels like, you know, the, the highest of highs that this team and this core has experienced is getting further and further in the rearview mirror? Well, you know, we, every year we, it seems like we had a new, new piece that is a difference maker. Like we had Kyle over here and he started scoring. And then this year we got Stanley and the year before that we had Pionk and, you know, you can see that the pieces coming in, they're making big moves and they're being, they're playing bigger than themselves. And, and when that core starts to grow like that, that's when you start to get a dominating team. And like, we're close. None, nothing that happened this year was a fluke. We're very close to, to being able to make runs and being a dynasty, but it's just going to take a few more pieces and, and we'll be there.